like my neck fan? Yeah. It's good for uh, blowing hot air on your face. <laughs> it's like the... Uh, There's one for you. Oh, nice. So you too can blow hot air on your face. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Cart Life TV. We got a special episode for you today, but first, what the hell is on your neck? It's a fan. It's 115 degrees out. Is it helping? Not really. Just blowing hot air on me. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a special episode for you guys today. We're going to be installing seat covers on this Club Cart DS behind me. And the We're cool thing going. about it is, <laughs> Joe and I aren't doing any of the work. We got a special guest with us today, and it is our friend, Neil Saffer. Come here, have a seat. Oh, I get a seat, hey bro. Hey, what's up, man? How you going? <laughs> got it, I can't believe it. Back on cart light. <laughs> so, uh, the last couple weeks have been amazing. I've just been uh, hearing from all these people, and what you guys are doing, it's special, it's different. It's, it's, not, it's not the carts. The carts seem to be a, uh, a, a similar life itself, right? Like you're motivating an entire generation. <laughs> Glad to be here, and uh, we might get wet. But, so we got some cool. We got something cool today. Our friends over at Royca, that Amazon company that sent us the seat cover for Joe's Easy Go, loved our video, so they sent us some um, a set for the DS here, and Neil's gonna put them on. Okay. But before we start that, I want to take a look at Neil's car. I'm glad he didn't pull it in the driveway because it looks like it's going to leak something. <laughs> but, uh, gonna leak something let's happen. check that out real quick. Uh, now, Neil, what, what, what is this thing? So this is a 1980 Triumph uh, Spitfire 1500. It's the last of the generation. The car was made for about 20 years. Uh, this is it. Last, last one they made. Houndstooth upholstery, rubber bumpers. Got it just about right. Mark Maselli, the... Uh, the English car whisperer and I have worked on this for the last couple of years and it's just it just runs great yeah it leaks some oil but all British cars do um, and uh, it's got about the same probability of making it to Key West as uh, your car <laughs> I got the money on the golf cart to be honest I don't know if the Spitfire will make it I, I've, I've seen it run and I've pushed it to start it too so, you ever so heard I had that experience have you ever heard of the 550 500 roll? No. So in British cars, we always say it's 550, 500. If your car can make it five miles, you can make it 50 miles. If it can make it 50 miles, you can make it 500 miles. So uh, I think it took me about five miles to get down here. Let's see if I get home. All right, cool. Awesome, man. I love let's the car. Go, let's go install something. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, so I got my neck fan on. I'm going to have a seat, and we're going to let Neil get to work here. We got the two boxes here on the table. He's going to open them up, install these things. We're going to show you how quick and easy it is to make your golf cart look like it has $800 seats on it. All right, so, so far, so good. Very, very simple installation. All Neil had to do was remove the rear seat, the lower one, Velcro the, uh, the Royco seat cover on top of it. Now they're back there. They're going to reinstall it. Real simple. I think it's like eight screws. The whole process for that part of the seat took about a minute. So awesome product so far. Can't wait to see how it looks. They're doing good. We're going to keep watching them. It's just beautiful. There's one screw in my pocket. Hey, Joe. Yeah. You got that thing on yet? All right, the boys got the lower seat cover on. Now it's time to do the seat back on the rear. Same thing as the front we did on Joe's cart. A couple of a uh, couple of straps, wrap it around nice and tight. Takes about a minute. All right, you guys might be wondering, how do you tell what's the top and the bottom on the seat back? There's a little tag. It's going to be on the left hand side when you're looking at it. You want to make sure that that reads in the right direction. Um, we're showing it to you on the screen here. Very simple. These guys are doing a great job putting the straps on. Back seat's basically done already. So we got a custom back seat in less than five minutes for under $100. It's an amazing value and it's an amazing product. All right, so the boys are working on the front seat already over there. For the DS, what you gotta do, just like Joe's car, is remove the bolts that hold the armrest on the side. Four bolts hold it on, 10 millimeter nut. Get those off, stretch it on, pull the straps tight, and the front seat is done. It'd be really done if you could grab a bolt for me. One thing you want to make sure is you line up the slots that are on the seat cover with the tabs that hold the seat 
to the body. Real simple, before you tighten it up, make sure you get those lined up. Beautiful. All right, these guys are doing great. They're almost done with the front seat completely. They're about to close it up, and as soon as they're done, we're gonna work on the seat back in the front. It goes on just like the rear seat back. You stretch it over the existing cushion, pull the straps tight, and this project is done. Let's check it out. All right, so that about wraps it up for today. We got these golf cart seats completely covered with these awesome Roy cost seats. Thanks, Neil, for coming by and uh, and working with us. See you, pal. Yeah. See you, man. They came out awesome. We're excited. Um, I want to thank Roy Koff for for sending us these. They're awesome. Totally transformed the golf cart. Joe's got them on his. We got them on the DS now. We're going to be riding in style down to Key West. It's going to be a lot comfortable. So if you want these under $100 each set, check out the link below, Amazon.com. And that's it for today, guys. We'll see uh, you. Peace. Peace.